The brutal military crackdown on Myanmar's pro-democracy protesters continues, with more than 80 killed on Saturday, according to local media. Authorities regularly shut down internet access, and that's forced activists to return to old-fashioned methods of spreading their revolutionary message. The man wearing this mask goes by the name Lin Thant. He's the founder of an anti-junta underground newsletter called Molotov. It's secretly distributed and has thousands of readers across Myanmar. It's a tough time at the moment. We have to be interviewed wearing masks. We're living under a lot of oppression at the moment. We have to distribute the printed version of Molotov ourselves because of the internet outage. For writing revolutionary literature and then distributing it, we could end up in prison for many years, possibly 10 or more years. A huge risk, but one that many like Lin Thant are prepared to take. Some readers across the country download a PDF version of the publication, print them out and distribute the physical copies in their local area. Myanmar has a long history of underground publications. Independent media is under severe threat. According to groups monitoring the crackdown in Myanmar, around 3,000 people have been arrested since the military seized power in February, and at least 700 people have been killed. Reasons that keep Lin Thant and his fellow activists determined to fight for their freedom. Even if one of us is arrested, there are young people who will carry on producing the Molotov newsletter. Even if one of us is killed, someone else will turn up when someone falls. This Molotov newsletter will continue to exist until the revolution is successful. A revolution that for now appears to have no end date in sight.